of John B. Levy and Company. It's a commercial real estate uh, firm. John, um, let's comment a little bit on this. Commercial real estate scares a lot of people going into uh, two th uh, 2010. Um, I, you don't seem to be that scared about it, though, do you? No, I'm really not. I think uh, we're, we, we've had a pretty steep decline. Prices are, are down 40, 45 percent. We're sloshing around the bottom, but I think we're starting to actually go uh, and get a little better. I mean, this is a, a dr dramatic increase from where we were last year when people were talking about the Armageddon trade. So uh, we are a lagging indicator, and, but I think most of the, uh, of the disappointment is already priced in to uh, commercial real estate. You're a little bit of a renegade then in this commercial real estate market because we've been hearing a lot of people saying they're still worried that you know proverbial shoe is still going to fall. What parts of the commercial real estate market are you looking at though? Because it can't be across the board. Well, I think uh, uh, Tracy, you're exactly right. There are some weak parts. For example, hospitality is still very weak. Retail is weak. Uh, multifamily is not weak, although it depends on the market, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, industrial. And, and office are showing some weakness just because the economy is weak. But um, I, I, no, I, I'm, I'm not looking for another wholesale price decline. I am seeing that leases are going through the market and are coming out at lower rates, but they've already been priced in to, to, into the price discovery. So I, I just don't see that it, we're in for another slide like the one we've had over the last two years, which was horrendous. John, everybody is waiting for uh, the moment when the Fed decides to raise rates. I mean, uh, Fed funds future sure. is indicate November. Certainly some economists think it might be earlier, more like mid-year. I mean, how close are you keeping an eye on this? Obviously you are, but what type of effect will it have on the commercial um, you know, mortgage business and the commercial real estate business as opposed to the residential real estate business? Well, it, it has an effect because the 10-year Treasury, which is the benchmark by which we price, is going to go up. Right now, it's incredibly low. It's 3.6%. Mm -hmm. So you almost can say it can't go any lower, although it has been lower. But, I mean, we, we've been uh, in the commercial real estate business when uh, the 10-year the treasury was 5, 6, 7, 8%, and frankly, the business did just fine. So I'm not terribly worried about rates going up. If rates go up, what that shows me is that they're strengthening the economy, they're new jobs, and that will contribute to commercial real estate uh, strength. So I'm not terribly worried about rates going up per se. Uh, LIBOR is incredibly low right now. It can only go in one direction. It's 30 basis points. So if you're banking on a very low uh, floating rate, you could be in trouble. But I think most people are seeing that this is the, the rates are low because the economy is slow. John, you say m multifamily apartments. It reminds me of being a kid. My family immigrated. When they came here, all they did is buy up two-family homes, and everyone owned yeah. like a billion of these two-family homes. Yeah, the is that duplexes. the way to go again? And it, you know, if I wanted to invest in this market right now, do I start doing that? These little two families, these little apartment buildings. Well, you know, Tracy, those are pretty management intense, and uh, I, I think if you're very good with your hands and don't mind being the superintendent and uh, uh, doing your own plumbing, they're probably fine. But if, if you're hands-off, if you're the doctor, if you're the investor, that's a really hard way to make a dollar. John, from a geographical standpoint, are you really aligned with housing as well in terms of what areas are struggling? And will, you, will commercial real estate even lack the residential real estate in terms of bouncing back, like Arizona, Southern California, Las yeah. Vegas, Michigan, Northern Ohio, places like that? Well, we're certainly seeing effect in, in areas that we, we call from cars to condos. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, you know, Michigan, Ohio, California, Arizona, Florida, uh, those areas are soft. And uh, we're also going to see uh, more bank failures in those areas, particularly in the, uh, in, you know, in the community banks. Uh, but, but I don't think we're going to see something across the board, which is what we've been seeing, which is everywhere. John Levy, founder of John B. Le I'm sorry, Levy. John Levy, the founder of John B. Levy and Company. No, Levy. We have a Levy coming on, <laughs> sir. And Wait, my mind is... Levy, Levy. We do. John and Levy. you're spelled exactly the same Robert way. Levy. We'll take it either way. John, thanks no, for being with No, that's my us. fault. John, thank you Chris, so much. Chris, Tracy, always nice. John Levy, he's the founder of John B. Levy and Levy. Company. You see, it was like a 50-50 chance of you getting it right. So and I did it wrong it twice. Right. But we really did. Growing up, they, my, everyone owned these two family homes. That's what they did. Yeah. They did not put their investor money in the market, nothing. Two family homes. We go from a levy to a levy.